Hey everyone, how's it going? Like Butter here, and today I got a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video for you, and I have something specific that I want to talk to you guys about. Now, I ran a poll on my Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, be sure to do so. I like to do polls uh, once in a while to see what my followers have to say about certain games that are going to be coming out in the future, or other questions regarding games that are already out. And I did a poll yesterday, I think it was yesterday or the day before, um, and the question was, what do you hope the next Call of Duty is? I was very curious to see what people were expecting, and uh, here's the poll, I'm going to put it here on the screen so you guys can check it out. By the way, I died twice in the beginning of this gameplay, but I promise it heats up a little bit later. I kept going AFK for some reason, but uh, it's all good because you guys can see the poll right here, and let's go from top to bottom and talk about it. Um... So I was really surprised at how many people wanted to see a Modern Warfare 4. Um, now, I know Modern Warfare 4 is probably the most um, realistic title if they were to relaunch one of the other games. But I believe Modern Warfare was supposed to be a trilogy, a trilogy that ended story-wise. So I don't think we're going to get a Modern Warfare 4, but I, I think it's pretty cool that... 34% of the people who voted in this poll wanted to see that. Um, this is 277 votes, so it is a good amount of data here, and uh, I find it interesting. So the one that came up on top was World at War 2. Now, you guys know World at War came out in, I believe, 2008, made by Treyarch, and it was the last World War 2 Call of Duty that we've had since. So it's been close to eight years where we'd either have Modern Warfare games or futuristic Call of Duty games. And I really think that a World War II Call of Duty game on the engine that COD is now on and how far the graphics have came, you know, with next-gen consoles and, and other stuff uh, making things just a little bit better, I think a World War II game would be absolutely phenomenal. And I really miss those world war ii gunfights with the you know the old guns and not too many kill streaks or crazy things going on like i really enjoy black ops 3 a lot it's probably one of my favorite call of duties from the series however there's a part of me that kind of wishes call of duty would go back to its roots just a bit um even if it's just for one series now i was hoping that this year it was World at War 2 because I, obviously, you know, I think we would all agree that if there was going to be a World at War 2, I'm assuming it would be Treyarch who would do that. Um, but we got Black Ops 3 and I am very, very impressed with this game. I love it. Like I said, one of my favorite Call of Duties. But um, I think the futuristic thing is getting a little bit overdone and uh, I would really, really like to see a uh, World War 2 game. So... I don't know if we'll get that, probably not, considering it, um, Infinity Ward is next, and then we got Sledgehammer uh, the year after that. So this year, what is it going to be, guys? What do you think? Leave me a comment in the comment section below on your opinions and, and why you have those opinions. So as you can see, 6% uh, for Ghost 2 and 20% new series. Now, I think that Activision came out and said that the new title was going to be a new innovative title, which leads a lot of people to think that it's going to be a completely new series. Now, if it is a new series, what era are we going to see the game? Is it going to be another futuristic game? I know a lot of people, including myself, really, really like the Black Ops 3 movement. So is there going to be a way that they incorporate the movement from Black Ops 3 into the next game? Or do they go back to their roots and, and add, you know the World War II style of things where, you know, you can only dive on the ground or something like that and you have older equipment and, and not much of the futuristic thing. Now, Advanced Warfare, I really didn't enjoy it. If you did enjoy Advanced Warfare, that's cool, but 
For me, it just wasn't that good because I felt like the movement was a little bit too fast with the really fast double jumping and the fact that you could use the sticks to jolt in a direction after the double jump. I felt like you were just a little bit too mobile and it made gunfights kind of random with everyone hopping around, uh, you know, like crackheads just kind of shooting at each other. And I think the lack of blood and other stuff and just, just the maps and weapons, nothing really appealed to me about that game. However... Black Ops 3, I feel like, nails that futuristic feel that you, you want to see in a game. Because yes, you can boost, yes, you can go get to different areas by using your thrusters and whatnot, but it's done in a way where it's good. It's very, very easy to shoot someone who's thrusting upwards, whereas in Advanced Warfare, everyone's jolting around in random directions, and the movement pretty much broke every map. Well, in Black Ops 3, the it actually uh, complements the maps a bit with the movement and makes it so that there's a lot of areas on maps that can't be camped where otherwise, without that movement, would be able to be abused. And um, I think it's like Treyarch did a fantastic job. And um, it's a little unfortunate that we got a Call of Duty coming out so soon because I really don't want to see the Black Ops 3 uh, fan base die down at all because this game is so good that it deserves to be played for multiple multiple years and i believe it will get played for a long time as well i don't know if you guys saw but on the backwards compatibility polls black ops 2 pulled ahead and is number one over commanding like over 200,000 votes for black ops 2 to become backwards compatible so as you can see a lot of people really enjoy the black ops series for for good reason so i want to know you know this is kind of a discussion video what game do you guys want to see and what game do you guys think you will see now part of me like thinks about how cool it would be or how terrible it would be I, i'm not sure you know i'm not a game developer and i wouldn't be able to test it out but what if there was like a primal time call of duty would that not work um i'm talking like bows spears you know um all the old caveman weapons if you will um i know far cries do just, most of you guys know far cry primal they're going back to like the prehistoric times and what would it be like if a call of duty was back then would it not make sense because the call of duty is a shooter do you think that's too much of a leap i don't think activision has the balls to to do something that crazy however somebody made a good point in my um and my stream is actually a buddy of mine who said maybe it's a Call of Duty game since they're saying new and innovative. Maybe it's the first Call of Duty game that has multiple eras built into one game. Now imagine on one map, for example, say that you have it's World War II and World War II weapons and, and World War II uh, loadouts and that kind of thing. But on other maps, it's futuristic. So maybe different eras plugged into one game. I think that would be amazing to hit all the different eras and it would be like a different experience every single time now will they do that probably not because it's a bit risky to try something that's really never been done before i don't think i've ever seen a game that has uh especially a shooter that's hit different eras like that all in the same game but you know with maps like this um where you can see there's a jungle area there's a snow area and there's like a rainy like street area Maybe they're not afraid to take chances and leaps like that. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Um, but I really hope that it's not another futuristic game. Unless the movement is like Black Ops 3 and the maps are really good. Then I, I wouldn't mind. I really wouldn't mind. Um, but like I said, this is a discussion video. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for the support in the channel recently, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Take care, everybody.